Oh, hi there. This is an experiment. I gotta say, first of all, the wind noise is likely to make this just unusable. But as I said, it's an experiment. We're allowed to fail. Big whoop. It's just that it would be unusable and unlistenable. But that's okay. It might just be total shite, but that's okay. I know that there's noise. If it's using the audio input that I expect that it is, there's definitely going to be some noise. Because I can hear that shit in my ears. I think it's trying to cancel its own noise. In any case, the broader experiment is just to come out here and talk to you guys. I should introduce you to Lily. better introduction than to watch her take a shit right in front of you during the introduction. Lily? You getting it? You getting it all out? There you go. Good thing, there you go. Burn out! Okay. I'll just pretend this is gonna sound spectacular and continue on maybe the bigger issue is that it annoys me because I just hear that whining in my ears maybe it can be removed probably not in any case it's an experiment I wanted to come out and talk I'm thinking that given enough miles given enough dropping of my awareness that at some point I'll hit the zone. And the zone is where the real wisdom lies. Did I say her name is Lily? Look, I did. I was more focused on the shitting at the time. In any case, that's Lily. I'm me. And I wanted to chit chat, dispense with all of my wisdom, which is going to take, I'll guess, thousands of miles. But that's okay. I need to lose a lot of weight. Also, my health is rather jacked up. And this is a good way to waste time and do something quote, creative. Google Maps saved my bacon. I was headed here, and it's usually about a 20 minute drive, and it wanted me to go a different way, a very unusual way. I've argued with it before, and or disobeyed it, I should say paid the price in the form of a long wait that uh, installed traffic so I took a peek and sure enough well let me back up I expected for I-25 to be a solid red line indicating heavy traffic maybe that only happens on happens when it's part of your route. <clears throat> Lily's going to go to the right. See what Lily choose in these cases. Uh, that's not a rule, but maybe it's better than one. Anyway, when I got to the end of our road, I saw that I-25 southbound is what I needed was moving at about three miles an hour. So I took the long way that Google recommended. And I did get there. 
little bit later. A lot more stopping and starting. A lot more speed bumps. A lot more differential of speed between the cars. A lot of dummies driving cars. Which is still the case on I-25. thing to hold but those there I'm guessing I don't know what they're called they're one of maybe a few different varieties of desert rodent burrows at least that's what I think it is I've never had direct confirmation because they never come out and greet me it could be a giant spider but it's probably not. Uh, well, Lily gets these stickies, as we have come to call them. And I'm gonna fix it, because I'm a gentleman. You're welcome. You're welcome, you found a good one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm taking a good look. Is everything going? We good? Okay. Off we go. Wherever the hell we are going. Maybe I'll complain about my health problems. I mentioned health problems. My back is jacked. I've been through so much shit with my back. It's not just my back. It tends to radiate. Because all the wires go through your back. And your back, sometimes will just pinch the wires. Just because it's bad design or too many Cheetos, or too much time in the recliner, or fat, or lack of vitamin D, or God hates you. Who knows? But in any case, it doesn't seem to just continue to be your back. Oh, that's a radiculopathy. It's radiculopathy. Thoracic spinal degradation, I believe, is the word I saw. It like it was a struck me as not a very medical word, whatever it was. But in any case, fistula doesn't sound medical, does it? And uh, got a CT scan after begging the health establishment. And when I looked at it, I could not see anything between my vertebrae and my thoracic spine, which I just want to point out has two C's separated by one letter that are pronounced in completely different ways. It's pronounced thoracic, spelled thoracic. Um, so yeah, I figure Lily, Lily hates U-turns. She knows exactly what's up. Come on, we're turning around. Come on. Purple suit. Let's go. Let's go. This way. Ah. This way. Come on. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. Good girl. So smart. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're so smart. Let's go. Thoracic. And it's spelled thoracic. If you're Latin. And it's odd to think that. The solution, maybe, or the way to treat having some kind of spacing or padding right here. 
pray is to go out and fucking walk. But <clears throat> I guess if I'm going to do whatever, I have to do it. Eventually, they'll give me a wheelchair. Stingy fucks. This is a chola. 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 The cholas were recently in bloom. Uh, you see some yellow there. Make sure you see some yellow. You see that yellow? I don't know. Maybe that's a fruit. I don't think the, the flowers look like actual flowers, which to me is a little bit surprising given the evolutionary distance between those things and a tulip or whatever you care to choose. The flowers turn out to look just the same, or at least they don't look amiss. They just look like flowers. And while it would not have been dramatic, I could have come out here and shot some of the shooting. Oh yeah, speaking of shooting, we might get to hear some shooting. You might have even seen the shotgun shells on the way out. Probably did. Anyway, this is the very unofficial, official Santa Fe shooting range. <clears throat> or actually somewhere over there is. Uh, they usually stay in one spot, although you see shells everywhere. Every now and then, a cop will be sitting out here. Just to make sure those are watching, I guess. Oh, goodness. But it being a Monday and everybody being busy at the steel factory, I guess, no shooting today. Bullets are going to have to shoot themselves. Um, what else to say? You know, there's going to be deep, deep philosophizing, but not just yet. Not while I'm weak and decrepit. There's a rather decayed looking flower that you can admire. You can see there's several up here. Not too impressive. By a long shot just because they're shriveled there has been significant shrinkage they're perfect just like george costanza um yeah oh where i should have mentioned this is santa fe new mexico in a little huge triangle of land owned by the BLM called, well, it's complicated, but I call it La Cienaguilla. And uh, it took me about three years to learn how to pronounce that, mostly because of impatience. I still don't know what it means. Lily, we're going this way, come on, come on. Let's go. Good girl. Let's go. Good girl. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, it's a chunk of BLM that does not yet have any velvet ropes or Lexan on anything. It's kind of nice, very unstructured. Climb up one of these power poles and electrocute yourself, even if you want. It's a free country. You can see a lot of Santa Fe in that direction, perhaps most of it. If you squeeze on past this tree, it is not a terribly impressive place, especially for you. It's, I'm sure, teeny tiny. That's Santa Fe proper. This.
it's a popular spot for me at least in this case because I'm out here wearing a Time Life Books headset talking to myself with a spatula in my left hand and a dog in my right hand. smell the juniper. I'm pretty sure that's juniper. <clears throat> Probably smells like some delicious other dog piss. Actually, these things often smell like cat piss. Nope. That's a good whiff. Not cat piss. Some varieties of juniper seem to smell like cat piss. I think they do. I've had people point it out to me before. Once I noticed it, I was convinced there's, I don't know, why? Is it evolutionary fluke? By the way, these are the little berries that they make gin out of. Mm -mm -mm. Evolutionary fluke? Or do they want to let all the bobcats know this one's full? Please don't piss on me. I mean, if it's a world full of bobcats, who knows? We're talking Devonian. We're talking the other one. Quite a while ago. Nah. Nah. Evolutionary. because in New Mexico we don't have to have front license plates because we rarely get pulled over from the front. It's a Toyota Sequoia 2013. It has the platinum package. I feel a rush of superiority every time I see a here, whatever the other ones are. And it's treated nice. It's a Toyota, so I guess I have to deal with it for the rest of my life. That's been my experience, except for the one that I don't have anymore. It didn't die. Anyway, more or less, they last forever. Come on, Lily. This way. That's a good girl. She sees the truck, too. She like, fuck you, daddy. I ain't going back. I ain't never going back. You don't own me. We can take our time, I guess, if you're... Remember, I have back issues that cause me to grunt. I know a lot of you have been very concerned about this ever since my first video. It is, I guess, unique, sort of, in that it takes forever and ever and ever to make even moderate progress. And oh, it's so easy to get discouraged because if you're thinking, this shit forever? Uh, I want that wheelchair. Wheel it out to me. Put it on a dolly. I'm ready for it. Not quite yet. Look at that. First of all, you can see, especially from your angle, I could lose to stand some weight. And then also this odd arm thing I'm doing. Oh! Believe it or not, that relieves some kind of idiotic nerve that must die or 
won't die and therefore perpetual pain. Anyway, gotta wrap it up. Love you.